everyone, my name is Kim Smith and I'm the author and illustrator of this book here, Box of Text. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is I'm pairing up with Three Ducks Design and Storytime STEM Packs and we are going to be um, giving you a project that you can do at home this week. Uh, but kind of as a fun introduction to that, I wanted to introduce you to an experiment of mine um, and it's all about why an ordinary material like cardboard is so, such an extraordinary material to build with for your at-home projects. So for our experiment, what you'll need is you'll need two cups about the same size. Um, you'll need two pieces of paper, just regular sized. And then you'll need one really long piece of paper. So you can see it's a little bit longer than our ordinary pieces of paper. And the last thing you'll need is a little toy. Or you can use a block, just something that has is a little bit heavy but isn't too big. So what we're going to need to do is place our pieces of paper on the cup like this, like a paper bridge. And then we're going to see if our paper bridge will support our little toy. Now, can any of you guess whether or not our paper bridge will hold up our toy? Well, let's see. So we're gonna place them in the middle. And our paper bridge didn't hold up. So we need to find a way to make our paper bridge super strong. So we're gonna set our cups aside for the moment. And we're gonna take this one really long piece of paper. So that's the one that's bigger than these small pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to start folding it back and forth. So what we're doing to the piece of paper is making it corrugated, like some cardboard. The cardboard that makes up card things like cardboard boxes. So not like your cereal boxes, which just have the thin cardboard, but the brown boxes that toys come in or you get in the mail. So when you're folding it back and forth, it's kind of like folding a paper fan. You can kind of see from the side, you're making little V's and this is called corrugation. So we're gonna fold the whole piece of paper like that and try your, to make your folds as even as possible. Almost at the end, it can take a little bit of time to create all those corrugated folds. And finally, it's done. So your piece of paper should kind of look like this, like that from the side. So we're just gonna set that aside. We're gonna bring our two cups back and place them like they were before. And now we're gonna stack our paper. So you take your first sheet of regular size paper, place it on the top. You're gonna take the corrugated paper, place it on top of that and kind of spread it out a bit. And then lastly, you're gonna take that other piece of regular size paper and place it on the top. Now we're going to see if our paper bridge is strong enough to hold our dinosaur. So, can anybody guess if it will hold it this time? Let's see. So you're gonna place them right on the top there. And now it holds it up super easily. It's kind of amazing that just by folding a piece of paper in the middle, like so, makes our little paper bridge so much stronger. So if you kind of look at the side of this, side of our little corrugated section, you can see all the little V's in the front. Now, if you've ever looked at the side of your cardboard, that brown paper cardboard that comes, that creates a lot of cardboard boxes, it looks very similar to this corrugation right here. And that's why cardboard is so strong and extraordinary to build with. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this fun little experiment about why corrugated cardboard is such an extraordinary material to work with. I'm very excited to see the at-home projects that you come up with. Um, I'd love to see photos of them, so please share them. Um, and thanks so much for joining me. Bye.